But I want to tell you tonight, in no uncertain terms and with clarity, how we're going to win an election on October 16, 2013, and deliver the first Republican U.S. Senator in New Jersey in 42 years. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, voice and the words of Steve Lonigan. Uh, who uh, yesterday won the Republican primary for the uh, U.S. Senate seat from the state of New Jersey. And uh, he will go against Cory Booker, who won the Democratic primary. But joining us right now is uh, Mayor Steve Lonigan, former mayor of Bogota, New Jersey. Hello, sir. Hi, Steve. It's great to be with you. Con Thank congratulations, you. my friend. Well, it's exhilarating, and I'm excited about the next 63 days as we sprint towards this uh, historic general election. Okay, you won overwhelmingly on, on the Republican side. Uh, first, talk about your, your, your victory and, the, and then what it means going forward. Well, the victory was, was, well, it was terrific. I mean, we had our, a lot of people out working hard to turn out the vote. Of course, the numbers were much bigger than people expected, which is really a validation of my platform and the fact that I have the whole Republican Party behind me in this race, from Governor Christie right down to local mayors, councilmen, and most important, the grassroots. Um, Cory Booker, on the other hand, has been anointed as the next state senator by the Hollywood elite and those Silicon Valley moguls who have descended from their penthouse apartments at the Bel Air Hotel in the hills of Hollywood to uh, anoint the next U.S. senator from New Jersey. Steve, the problem is California doesn't need a third senator. New Jersey needs a senator committed to this state, and that's going to be made. Okay, so Chris Christie um, is going to, you believe actively, is he going to campaign with you? Yes, absolutely. He called me last night, congratulated me on a great uh, victory, so let's talk tomorrow, that being today, about how we're going to work together. I've actually been going back and forth with his uh, campaign manager. Uh, the text message has been a brutal day, but no, I, I, the governor has a great opportunity here to be a real leader and to help to deliver the first Republican U.S. Senator in 42 years in an election that's going to determine the tone of the upcoming U.S. Senate races for the whole country next year. All right, now let's talk about Cory Booker. Um, you know what strikes me, and, and you're not surprised, it's, it's the same old equal work for equal pay, uh, you know, be, be, we need better education, all this same old meaningless rhetoric, nonsense, empty words, um, and, and, you know, in, in, this, in Newark, as mayor of Newark, I mean, we need to examine his record. Yeah, no, look, it's all shallow rhetoric. This is the clearest line in the sand election between a far left-wing liberal and a conservative the state's ever seen. I mean, you couldn't ask for more clear than Cory Booker is a devotee. He worships at the altar of big government. He wants more government spending, more entitlement programs, more debt. I want limited government. I want to cut spending, stop the debt, and, uh, you know, unleash the animal spirits of American ingenuity. This guy, he, he announced in his speech last night the three biggest issues that, he's hand, that, that he sees in this race. Gay marriage, taxpayer-funded abortions, and raising the minimum wage to $10.15 an hour. $10.15 an hour. If you raise the minimum wage to $10.15 an hour, every small business in New Jersey just shutter their windows, lock their doors, and go home. It's over. I mean, this guy is just so far left wing. He's also. So I'm, looking forward, I'm looking forward to an all out debate over capitalism versus socialism, over big government versus limited government, over individual liberty versus uh, sacrificing those liberties for, for government. Steve, that's what this is. Steve, he also called you a, a flamethrower. I, I think I'm getting the, word, the quote right. He, uh, he said, I'll meet those flames with, uh, you know, cool water. Yeah, he, he was full, again, with the, with, with the rhetorical lines uh, last night, but basically saying that you've attacked him, but he's not going to, he's not going to take the bait. He's not going to attack you back. He's going to just give good ideas and, and, and offer to sit down and, and be nice and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If socialism's a good idea, go for it. He also said that, but don't underestimate it, he sharpens his teeth in Newark, so I don't know if he intends to bite me or what. That's, <laughs> That's a good line. Uh, will Cory Booker bite me? Um, we're talking to Steve Lonigan, the Republican uh, nominee for the U.S. Senate here on the Steve Malsberg Show from the state of New Jersey, of course. Um, uh, let, let me ask you about uh, a referendum of sorts on Obama. Is this a referendum on Obama, and can, New Jer can you win in New Jersey at this point, do you believe, uh, by making it a referendum on Obama? I am making it a referendum on Obamacare, on Obama's economic policies, on Obama's massive explosion of debt and spending, over the common core education intrusion into the education of our children. I'm putting all these things on the table. New Jersey is going to be the battleground over the future of uh, 
the Constitution of the United States, the Bill of Rights, and individual liberty. And the whole country is going to watch this race. So, yes, this is going to be an unabashed conservative running on our principles, and I'm not backing off, not one inch. And I believe that's how we mobilize our base, Steve. That's how we develop real energy, bring focus to the issues, and win this election. All right, and it's a lot. What's the website? Lonegan for Senate, L-O-N-E-G-A-N. And, Steve, I have to raise a lot of money. You know, uh, Booker had Oprah Winfrey in. The other night he had the star from Desperate Housewives, you know, parading around. There were all these Hollywood cult uh, figures. But, you know, he can bring in uh, the star from Desperate Housewives, but that's not going to help with the desperate situation New Jersey taxpayers are in. Are, are, you, are, you, getting, are you going to get support from the, uh, the Republican Senatorial Committee nationally? Yeah, I expect support from everybody. Okay, Look, good. Everybody is in the, in the next, and, and by the way, thanks to guys like you on the radio talking about this race and clarifying how important these issues really are. As people wake up and say, wait a minute, the whole country is going to watch this referendum vote on Obamacare, on the Common Core, over the explosion of government, over the, the Bill of Rights. I think it's a way we've got to play in this race. We have to. All right, Steve, congratulations again. We'll speak to you uh, often as this progresses. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Steve Lonigan, ladies and gentlemen, uh, former mayor of Bogota, New Jersey. He's